assuming that just one third of the 111 banned politicians can easily win elections. They will be a force to be reckoned with. In other words, the veterans returning from a five year banishment can strengthen any government or destabilize it. And they are just a few days away from being able to do so. On the other hand, the 111 politicians may not be so formidable under current circumstances. The ruling Pulatai Party already holds a comfortable majority in the House of Representatives. Prime Minister Ying Lak Chinawat is enjoying a high popularity rating. For all their experiences, backgrounds, and influences, the 111 are just ordinary people who don't even have parliamentary seats. Thaksin Chinawat said Nopadon Patama has suggested that a cabinet reshuffle may not come as early as we were thought. This probably indicated that current political circumstances are not in the favor of the 111 club. Yingluck is not in a crisis. The majority of Thai people have either forgotten the flooding last year or forgiven her for the government's awkward response to the disaster. The Richard movement that represents Thailand's grassroots poor has been very understanding about the rising cost of living. Simply put, Yingluck's political situation does not warrant an immediate cabinet reshuffle. There is also a big motive for delaying it. A reshuffle will make her confront the Tatupon Prompan issue. The controversial Richard leader has been waiting for a cabinet seat, but giving him a ministerial post would renew political tension and threaten reconciliation. Another complicating factor is how to find a magical balance between making a good cabinet and keeping Yingluck high above the others. Yingluck has become popular not just because of her unique characteristics, but because of the low ratings of her teammates. Taking this into account, Taksin and Yingluck may not be in such a hurry to bring an army of veterans into the government. The 111 will find themselves returning to an unfamiliar political landscape. So much has happened over the past five years, and even now, things need to be assessed on a daily basis. Politics will still be something they play primarily for themselves under the name of public interests, but it would be unwise for the banned politicians who will become free this month to scramble to make up for lost time. Tun Sati Thap Tim, The Nation Analysis.